Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, your source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So as with last week, this week we're looking at some other Stalingrad figures that we've got. These are all going to be some of their civilian figures. And I think Stalingrad has done a lot of great stuff with civilian figures because even though they're, as you can see, Russian refugee children and Russian, uh, an older gentleman, they could be from any Eastern European country, I suppose, or even Western Europe, especially the children. So that means that they are really versatile and you can put them into a lot of different vignettes or a lot of different dioramas. The third one here is a Russian girl with buckets and it just says the 20th century. So that's even more broad, which, you know, that's great, really fantastic. And so I just wanted to show off some of the some of the the contents of the kits. These are all individually bagged and these are the refugee children. It's quite a small kit but it also has a lot of character and a lot of detail considering how how small the contents are. And of course the great thing about civilians is that their clothes can add a lot of color and a lot of variation to what would otherwise be quite a drab scenario. The girl with the buckets actually comes with the full assembly, the two buckets and the, the sort of the brace that's holding both of them. It's all it's pre-bent which helps. These are all packed really well with the appropriate amount of casting blocks applied so you don't need to worry about the, the brace getting snapped or anything like that. Yeah. As I've said before, the sculpting on these Stalingrad figures is fantastic. I really, really do appreciate all the uh, hard work that goes into the sculpt. And there's not a whole lot of cleanup here other than the usual casting block removal, but it's all on the lower sections, so you don't need to worry about sanding down anywhere else. And finally, the old man here. This is all casting block, by the way. But the great thing about him, and with a lot of these other Stalingrad kits where they've got people seated, especially like there's a tank crew sharing a drink on a, on a cannon barrel, they give you the cannon barrel, and he's got this little section of a bench, so you don't have to worry about crafting the bench yourself and getting the proportions just so that it'll fit him perfectly, because it's already made for that. It's a walking stick. Yeah, fantastic stuff. I really do like these civilian kits. I never, to be honest, I was a bit arrogant when we first opened High Caliber Miniatures and I never thought that we would be getting into having any civilian figures in stock, but now uh, we saw a lot of demand for it. People asking us questions about that, this sort of stuff at Vancouver, the IPMS show last year. And then we saw Stalingrad and we really, really loved all the civilian stuff that they've got. And Evolution does some civilian stuff too, which is great. There's a few civilians in Bravo 6, but these are really fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy that we were able to get all of them in stock when we did. So for these figures and many, many more like them, check them out at highcaliberminiatures.com. We've got basically the full Stalingrad line minus some of their bigger kits like the the streetcar we still haven't gotten that yet thanks very much for watching and i will see you next time